Chosen ones, good morning, and I am so glad that you are here with me on today. Well, I want you to understand something really quickly, that sometimes when you walk away from people that bring you down, it, and it takes them by surprise, it's like a strike at their ego, all right? Because they figured that they had you hooked in some kind of way that was probably linked to your trauma. But because they have, that has been a massive spiritual awakening and because God has literally came down and set inside, he lives inside of your whole, your whole being, all right? Because of that, he has healed you of any issue that you may have and there was a abrupt change, a separation. And you walked away from a very toxic environment. You have walked away from toxic people. You have walked away from toxic family members. You've walked away from toxic job that you jobs of employment. You've walked away from toxic relationships. You've even walked away from marriages because you have gotten a fresh dose of the anointing of Jesus Christ. I want you to understand something just real quick that the enemy ain't too happy that you are seeking God more than you are seeking him. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let me say it one more time. The enemy is straight up mad, all right? He's ticked completely off because you're more interested in pursuing God then you are pursuing him. Now, I know some of you may be saying, I ain't ever worshiped the devil. When you put a uh, wanting to be in a relationship with a man or a woman, and that is your focus more than your divinity and your relationship with God, baby, you're seeking a man. When you're wanting to manifest just all these great things in your environment and it becomes the apple of your eye, then that gets you caught up into something else other than God. Then that becomes like an idol in your experience when you're so caught up in yourself okay to where you're so consumed with how you're looking and what you're doing and this that and other trying to embellish all these great things about yourself or whatever and you focus more on that then that becomes a god for you but because you have had so much hell to break loose in your environment you have come to the end of yourself and because you came to the end of your self, God was able to birth the real self, which is the spiritual nature that you had all along that is supposed to be divinely connected to the source of God, to God himself. And because you have turned and walked away, your enemy wants round two with you. Don't think for a second. I want you to listen to me real good. That the enemy is not going to dress himself up to present an offer for you. He wants to get you caught up in compromise once again because the goal is to hook you on round two. I want you to know that it was like a TKO on round one with the devil with you after you woke up. But I want you to understand that he ain't through with you, baby, because he's coming back from a, for a round two. He's coming back to see if he can get you hooked up with sexual immorality once again. He's coming back to see if he can get you hooked up on addictions once again. He's coming back to see if he can get you to make bad choices that affect your health once again. He's coming back to see if he can get your mind caught up in lower activities that make you sad and depressed and anxious once again. He's coming back to see if he can get somehow interwoven into the fabric of your your life. Uh, once again, I want you to understand that he is coming back for round two and you need to prepare yourself, honey, like you ain't ever done it before because the spirit of God wanted me to let you know this morning that when you occupy your mind with God, then God takes place in your heart, in your mind, and in your spirit. But when you walk away from something that was a stronghold for you and you don't fill yourself up with the things of God, honey, that first stronghold that you had will come back with seven or eight more of them demons, baby, to come into your life to make it hell. I want you to understand that they won't round two with you because they lost the round one. All right? You have bruised the ego of a narcissist. I want you to understand that. 
you have broken the heart of a toxic person. I want you to understand that because the enemy knows that he cannot survive without your spirit. So he knows that if he can give you an offer that you can't refuse, then somehow, some way he can finagle you outside of the will of God. He, when you're inside of the will of God, he can't touch you. He can make stuff happen in your environment. Yes, he can. But when you're inside the will of God, baby, you can just cruise through a trial and cruise through a tribulation because you got your eyes on Jesus across the room. But when you are not occupying your space, your mind, your heart, your spirit with the things of God, I want you to understand that you can't let up. Just because you got the awakening, baby, you can't sit back and prop your feet up and eat a bowl of peaches. You understand what I'm saying? Just because you got the awakening now, baby, it's more of it's more imperative that you stay connected to God. Because I want you to understand that your enemy is crossing, walking to and fro, looking for a weak link inside of your soul so he can come in and drag you right back to hell. I want you to understand that your enemy is going to be coming back for round two. What you going to do? Until the next video, guys. Mm -hmm. Peace. I know what you're going to do. Be prepared and win. Bye now.